Hello all, welcome to the e-office training module of Chennai GST and in this video we will see how to generate and diarize receipts. The first step would be to click on the browse and diarize button here in the receipts column. Once we click here, it takes us to this diarying page. Here we can upload only PDFs and the size limit is 20 MB. On clicking the upload file, it takes us to, us, to our uh, sample documents from where we can upload any file. I am choosing this document. So now this pertains to extension of time limit provided under taxation and other laws due to COVID pandemic. So now as you see, the diary details can be entered here. The delivery mode is either by hand, by post or by courier. We can say by hand. Language, English, Hindi, any other language that is filled by the EMD manager. So we choose English. Sender type. Letter reference number. Here in this letter we see there is a reference number here. We can copy and paste this here. Now this happens because this is a searchable PDF. During its scanning, it has been uh, in a searchable form, owing to which we can fill it directly. Now the diary date is freezed. It's 27-2020, the date on which we are diarizing it. The receipt date can be in prior also or on the same date. Letter date is the date present on the letter. Here it says 17 June 2020. In case the receipt is from any VIP, like chairman or any other VIP, we can fill it here. Now moving on to the contact details, from who is this receipt arriving? So here if we see, it is from the OSD. So we can fill in the details, Ministry of Finance, Department of Revenue, name or designation. Either of the two fields can be filled. OSD. An address in this Delhi. And now we can see that there are options to enter the PIN code, the state, country, city, mobile, fax, email. It is not necessary to fill all of the details. However, filling up details of email and mobile will help us send auto acknowledgement. Now, for convenience, I am giving my own email ID. So that the acknowledgement arrives in my mail. Now to choose the category and subject, we can choose the main category as um, circulars and instructions. The subcategory is not yet been populated. We can leave that. The subject can be copy pasted from here. Now, as already mentioned, acknowledgement is auto-generated and sent to this email ID and to the mobile number if it is mentioned here. However, we can also customize the acknowledgement by clicking on this customize acknowledgement checkbox. Now, we have entered the diary details and the contact details along with the category and subject for this particular IC. On clicking generate, the receipt is generated. On generate and send, we can directly send it to the concerned person. Now, let me click, click generate and send. Now we see that, now, here when the to button is clicked, it gives us a list of the contacts in that particular formation. And, we can also select some of them and add them into a preferred list. And it then moves to this preferred list. Similarly, groups also can be created. Now, I am sending it to my own ID where I map to a different formation. 
and in cc column we can fill anybody's name so i fill in this same formation and select the due date if the ic has any due date like report sort in a week or so you can give the particular due date priority can also be mentioned here out today most immediate or immediate i choose immediate any remarks can be filled in now once we click on the send button it goes to the respective person now we see that in inbox we are able to receive the ic with the subject extension of time limit provided under taxation and other laws to send by me send date time and here we see that there is a green icon which says it is of immediate priority along with that there is a receipt number 2138 in bracket there is one this bracket means that it is a cc copy and 2138 is the receipt number if we check in our sent items we can see that two receipts of 2138 have been sent one with one as the number mentioning that it's a cc copy and other with just 2138 on clicking this we will be able to see the diarized receipt so here we see the pdf is on the left side and the receipt details including the receipt number the designation of the person who has sent it the main category of the receipt the subject and the letter reference number have been captured now acknowledgement must have reached them by mail and also as an sms through their mobile number in case you want to send an acknowledgement otherwise you can go to the send tab and click on the receipt that arrives and press the generate acknowledgement button here now once you press this there is a customized acknowledgement screen that appears you can edit it as per your requirements and press the continue button then it ask you whether to send it through mail or through post you can click on the mail icon and enter the email id or you can click on the and you can also do the dispatch details if there is any postal acknowledgement etc you can attach that file here now i press on send button and we see that the acknowledgement page appears so here it says for the 2138 receipt number acknowledgement number 603 has been generated and it has been sent through mail now when i see my mail i am able to see this acknowledgement dear osd your letter has been received for future communication please refer to the correspondence number this hence through this video we have seen how to diarize and generate a receipt along with generating acknowledgement in case of any queries or doubts you can mail me at vandana.raj@gov.in thank you